sis, can I borrow your car tonight? No! No, you can't borrow her car. Every time you set foot into it, you get into some kind of trouble. That's right, Pop. Thank you. What's the emergency so important? Okay, Garbo, stop acting. The audience left. I don't know what your game is, but you certainly won't get away with it. You can believe me. Oh, I believe you. You won't like it around here at all, I warn you. Uh, the atmosphere is a bit chilly. Uh, shall I drive? What had you intended to do? Sit on the radiator cap? Uh, well, I, I, I really hadn't thought, but uh, if you'd like... Oh, I... come back here, you idiot. Open the door. Let's hurry. You're certainly very well-mannered, I must say. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm so sorry. Phew. Rather fatiguing being a chauffeur. you ought to read. A mystery story? It will be to you. It's a book on etiquette. Oh, it should be amusing. Hope it has pictures. I love pictures. You can park right there. I won't be long. Don't you know how to drive? If you take the trouble to look occasionally, you notice that there are other people driving cars besides yourself. I assure you it was quite unavoidable. Although I think when you saw me trying to back up, you might have waited a moment before parking. Don't give me that. The trouble is there are too many fellas like you. What are you trying to do, be funny? I'm trying to see the rest of your number. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, thank you. You mean to say I'm to blame? Yes, I think so. You can't talk like that to me. I'll knock your ears off. Oh, don't frighten me, mister. Look, you got me all nervous. I'll make you nervous. Come on, get out of that car. Something wrong, Herbert? Ah, uh, the chauffeur's a little too fresh, and I'm going to put him in his place. Come on, get out of there. Boo! Why, you swear? Wheeler, you're making a fool of me. Wheeler, use your hand. Ah, uh, show me, take it fresh with me, and get away with this. Herbert Wheeler. Hey, Jerry. I'm sorry, Jerry, but Other the show was on again, wasn't it, Herbert? Oh, well, look, Jerry, you'll only let me explain. I think this is all quite unnecessary. But, Jerry... I have nothing further to say to you. Home, I'll call you at home. No, I won't be there. It uh, was a most unfortunate incident. Yes, Herbert has... I mean, Mr. Wheeler has a faculty for creating unfortunate incidents. Oh, it wasn't wholly his fault. Now, don't go heroic on me. I can repair the damage myself. Aren't you going to have the car fixed? I knew there was something I had to do. Anything else, sir? Good yeah. night, Geraldine. Sorry if I appeared too romantic. 